everybody. Good evening. My name is Alan. On behalf of the crew, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. You know, in the newspapers this week, there was a bunch of articles that the six billionth person has been born on the planet Earth. So we now have six billion living human beings on the planet Earth. Now that, in a way, it's an enormous figure. I, you know, what compared to the size of the Earth, is that enormous? Is it a lot? Is it a little? And in a way, that's not the real important issue. The important issue is when are we going to learn to get along? When are we going to learn to experience the sameness about us, the truth about ourselves, instead of seeing all the, the things that are different about us? I mean, obviously, it's easy to see that this one's older, younger, uh, uh, different color hair, different religion, different uh, sexual preference, all the differences we can see, different countries, different cities, rooting for different ball teams, whatever. I mean, it can go to any level. But there is one truth, there is one experience in which we can have that we're all real brothers and sisters here, that we're all from that same essence, from that same essence that when a human being feels like it, it feels like love. And it's just so much time, and we've talked about it so much on Bridging Heaven and Earth, and it's just coming up so, so, so much more on the planet Earth now. It's just time for us to come together as, as fellow inhabitants of this planet, as brothers and sisters on this planet, to recognize the oneness, to, to dedicate our lives to the experience of that love and that dedication. And tonight we have someone with us who has an extraordinary story, a, a story of perseverance, a story of dedication, a story of the will to make that experience available to herself and to everyone she comes in, in contact with. Uh, Taeyoon Kim is a world-renowned spiritual teacher. She's the first female grandmaster in the uh, martial arts of Taekwondo. She's the author of several books, including The First Element. She's the creator of numerous audio and videotapes, including key rhythms. She owns one of the largest wellness centers or dojos in the United States, as far as I know. Uh, she's a uh, founder of, a, of an offshoot of a, of a martial arts that uh, is a practice of unifying the mind, body, and spirit for total harmony. And she has an extraordinary story of starting in a way that you wouldn't think that this person could achieve what she's achieved. And that her, her soul, when I watched these videos and I read the, the literature about her, the thing that really struck me is what her life is about and what she tries to teach in all the ways she does it, in all the mediums of TV, radio, uh, books and videos, is that self-empowerment, that recognition of that love within. And we have some extraordinary videos of her tonight, and she's with us on the set. So please join me in a short meditation, and then we're going to have a, just a wonderful show. So please, just settle in with me. If you know how to do a meditation technique, do it. If not, just follow your breath for a few minutes. Or just relax. Let whatever worries you had today fade into just fade away and come with us now, come with Taeyun and, and I on a journey into self-empowerment, okay? Please join me in a short meditation. All right, we're going to start tonight's show with uh, a video of, of Taeyoon Kim. Uh, this is an opening to her TV show that's shown just all over the world. It's an extraordinary show about empowerment, about love. And this is a little like history of her and her experience living on this planet and growing into the person she's grown into. So whenever we're ready. Korea is being overrun by the communists. A five-year-old little girl is running with her friend, running hard. Shells are exploding everywhere. Another explosion. She sees her friend die before her eyes. In her mind, in her spirit, a singular thought forms. I am not going to run anymore. This is the beginning of a vision, a dream deep in her heart a desire to overcome madness and fear with strength, to somehow 
find that strength within herself. Two years later, on a gray dawn morning in Kincham province, the vision within her heart starts to take form. With wondrous eyes, she discovers her uncles practicing Taekwondo in the morning mist. And in that special moment, she realizes what she will do. She will become a female martial artist. She will become a grandmaster. Thank you it's for great to have here. you here. It's great. Really great. It's wonderful. <laughs> so why don't you tell everybody about, do you remember back when you were a little girl when that film started and you remembered that desire? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yes. You know, it's, first of all, you have to understand, Alan, our culture is that 5,000 years passing on, saying that, woman, you're supposed to belong to how to learn how to cook and sew, and then work on your husband, and you produce 12 sons. You know? It's that's just, it. That that's your it. job. You know, yeah. And nothing else. Nothing else. But also, I was the first born. The first born is considered as a bad luck. If it's a female. Oh, yes. Right. <laughs> because I was so, you, a female. so you were screwed every which way. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. right. You know, I live during the study. Uh, you know, I was born in 1946. And uh, there's a Lunar New Year's, like a Chinese New Year's. And there's a, we pay to respect to your ancestor, right? So everybody prepared the best food. You pray for ancestor. Please bless our farmland, so on, so on, right? And here's my mother said, oh my God, I'm going to have a baby. So my grandfather say, hold on, everybody. Your grandson is coming. Oh. And he's going to oh. rule this country. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. and, and out you pop. <laughs> and the, oh. My grandmother, she received me. She said, Oh my goodness, Kim's family being cursed. You know why? Because I didn't have a hot pepper. You know what that means? So yeah, you right. have a hot pepper, I don't. No, I, don't. <laughs> okay. I, I got your meeting. <laughs> yes. We are a family show, right. but we got your meeting. Yes. <laughs> so, and uh, my grandmother said, woman, tell me what size hot pepper my grandson have. <laughs> you know? They're checking the size at that age. Oh, God, oh, Korea right. is yes. brutal yes, over there. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Then uh, my grandfather, as soon as he find out that I was a girl, he no ran to the... Pepper. No hot pepper. No hot pepper. He ran to the ancestor. He said, what I have done, this curse. Really? So he's calling me wow. the curse. So that's and a good way luck. to start. You're kidding me. <laughs> no, it was no, yeah, it was right. just very painful. Wow. Uh, what happened? So, I mean, did they treat you like, I mean, from the time you can remember, like, here's our oh, daughter yes. the curse? No, I think <laughs> the, they treat the dog and the cats better than I. My mother say, stay, girl, stay away from it. You go to the back. Don't show your face to everybody. 
And that's how I was. You know, wow. just like, they, I mean, literally. You know, I mean, I mean, I read a lot of the literature about you, but I yeah. never got the real feel. It, it's really true. It's, it's true. really yeah. true. And so the, how did you, you know break what, out of that? You know what, I mean? the thing is that, Alan, I did not know what they're talking about. I didn't know what was no, the difference between you? a boy and a girl. <laughs> right, I, I don't know. understand that. Right. But I think the worst thing happened when I was a five years old, we have a Korean War. And I broke That up. was no good for anybody. Well, you know what? That right. time, it's not only I. I think that we have the village, the whole village, and the population only about 300 people. So I think most of them, they don't want the girl to be participating in a, because it's taking extra mouth, you know, feeding. Right, right. So they abandoned me. And uh, they, you know, just took her up, and a bomb is dropping. And I just cry yeah. like a crazy. Mr. I got a lot of voice. This is I'm only five, right. and I didn't understand. And so you know? your whole family's heading off somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, they just gone, out, gone without me. They just let me behind, and I said, ah! You know, I didn't know. I, said, I was so scared. Right. I was scared. I just screaming at it. Then this next neighbor guy, I think I was so loud. My got a loud voice, mm -hmm. and even like a small body, you know, loud voice. And he said, "Girl, quiet." And he took me. And that's right. You know, we were. Just, I was just going to running with everybody else. And prison, I couldn't run anymore. I was just so tired and scared. I didn't know what was going on. So I remember I just stood there, I was looking at the sky, and I said, hey, I'm only five years old. Hey, what are you trying to do? Yeah, what kind of karma uh, is yes, this? Yes, I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> that is what, that time actually is a magic happened. To anybody else, nothing. To me, it was a magic because when, even until then, only the voice I heard my mother say, eat food, stay away from it, you know, nothing else. But I got this incredible sweet voice came and said, hey, you know what, if you stay here, you die. Come with me, I race with you. And I look up, there's a girl, and older than me. I was just so happy, someone talking to me. I was just like a- Like I mean, a human being. Yes, than, yeah, I mean, right. I was just, I, I mean, I didn't know what they mean. I just know the warm feeling. Right. I said, okay, I race with you. And then we will start the running. And because she ran faster than me, she wanted me to catch her up. And, but I was in the behind. But then something happened in crowd, everything. Go, kapoom! Everything's so shattered. And it's like a sound is just everywhere. And it's just like my body just flowed away and I didn't know what happened. And then when I come to my sense, the first thing it came to my mind, I want to find her. I was looking for her. And uh, finally, Your new friend. This, yeah, my yeah, new friend. Right. Only friends, the only right? Friend now, right? So when I look at her, and there she, the arms, other place, bleeding. Wow. And there's nothing there. I can still even feel that one. I saw, I said, come on, you know, you gotta talk to me. There's nothing there. Then I knew what is really, under I didn't understand what it mean death, but I knew she's dead. Right. So that moment, it changed my life completely. And I said to myself, I'm not going to run anymore. And I'm going to change. And I said to myself also, I'm not going to complain. And then before, I feel very lonely, so sad by my family treating me this way. But then I look at her, and I feel I am a whole lot better than right. and where she was. Right. So that is really changing my life. And after that, I said, OK, it is my choice what I would do in my life. And I said, this is of my life, and I'm going to be the driver, and I'm going to be the, you know, the ownership in my life. Yeah, and the that empowerment. Was it. Yes. Yeah, right. that's a, so, so I mean, that feeling of like empowering yourself and empowering others is, was like so root in you. Uh, so yeah, it's just so deep, so deep. deeply. You know, I mean, that was the sense I got when I watched the videos, yes. that that's what you yes. want for people, that yes, they yeah. feel that empowerment. Oh, but anybody tell me, impossible, you can't do that, guess what? I'm rolling my right. sleeve. You yeah, think so? Right. Okay, right. let's go for it. I mean, anybody say, oh yes, this can be done, then I lose my interest. Whenever they say, that's impossible, then I just diving in like a crazy. Wow. It has been, so, yeah. so, okay, so now you're five years old, you, you know what death is, you know yeah. that this is, you know, that you're going to, mm -hmm. so and then did you meet like a, a master, was it an uncle well, of yours? Well, what happened, after the war over, my family, you know, of course, we connected together, they put me in a grandparents' house, and my father was a school teacher, and my father, like, he's a school principal, in that time, my country, when if you are the school teacher, very high position. And um, of course, he was very unhappy because I'm not a boy. You know, if I give the first son, he will be incredibly happy because I'm a girl and he drank a lot. He used to beat the hell out of me. I tell wow. you, I thought I was a drummer or something. He just 
kicking me, punching me, really? beating me. Oh, you know, my mother, wow. my mother put me in a, ro a room, <laughs> locked me in. She used to cut my hair off <laughs> like a crazy. Really? Um, but then I have eight anchors, wow. eight anchors training, all martial art. So like the first thing in the morning and before the dawn, and before I, they could get up to beat you. Yeah. So you, you just kind of sneak out. Yeah, so before the dawn, there was a naked chest, and they all ate and go, whoo, whoo, they train like this way. And we have a rice paper door. And I make a little hole, and I pick it through. And I wow. Say, wow. That's what I want to learn. I feel somehow that a control of your body and your mind and you just energy, it just like, it just captured my soul. You know, right. that was that. And wow. they say, what? You girl. Yeah, right. You dog, you girl. You, you can't do that. Right. You know, they're all picking on me. But I was, I think one thing that Alan, I really want to tell everyone, there's something if you really want, no matter anybody disprove of, if it belongs to you know in your heart, don't give up. Right. I think that's what I did. Right. That every single person, I look at every corner, they all disprove of it. You can't do that. But my heart, which is absolutely, I'm not going to give up. So what happened when I turned to eight years old, right? So then my uncle, one uncle started teaching me. And he thought, well, as soon as I get a black and bruise and right. I was giving up. Right. Well, he made a big mistake. Right. I'm still sitting right here with <laughs> right. you. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, so then, I mean, from that day on, then you were just training that's it. That and was training the, yeah. and training. That day on, actually, when I turned to eight, um, my grandfather was really want to just kind of marry her, marry me off. That time was, you know, all the matchmaker, you know, their choice right. is that, you know, grandfather, my mother, father, you know, picking. And when I was eight years old, they tried to fix me when I turned 14, 15, marry me away. And every time the matchmaker come, my grandfather had a voice change. He say, Kayana, you know, kind of like a very, you know, it's just resonating sound saying, serve the tea. So they want to see how I walk, how I serve the tea, right. checking my feminism. Right, they didn't want to see how you did Taekwondo. Oh, yeah, you know, that like a exactly tomboy, right. you know, don't want to that. Right. <laughs> you don't want to be Let's see if she can with. beat this yeah. guy up. This <laughs> yeah, is, right. the way the funny thing is right. that when that happened, I always knew, I think I was much more smarter than anybody them, you know, my grandfather including. So I boil hot water, hot as I can be, and a ginseng tea, whatever it is, and when I serve, I go very femininely nicely. So but you then, poured it in Absolutely, <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> that's, you know, the matchmaker, yeah, that matchmaker like furious upset. Right, right. He said, you know. She burned my love. Yeah, absolutely. I don't care how much money you give to me. I'm never going to find your granddaughter and husband. And she was upset. My grandfather very upset. Me, I go, yeah. yeah, yeah right. I guess but so you have upset. to act like you said, right? <laughs> no, I kind of really act uh, like, you know, I don't care, right. you know. So, I mean, when did you finally leave the, like, that whole culture? Well, that moment, actually, that happened. My, that's my master. My grandfather consulted with my master. He's the, uh, you know, Buddha monks, very mm. high, and a priest. So he said, what am I going to do? My granddaughter, you know, nobody going to marry her. Her life is doomed. You know, I can't die like this way. So my master saw me and I'm playing the ground. He said, come, little girl, come, you know, see me. So I said, oh, oh, you know, I said, I'm in the trouble. So, but I walked up to me. See, my culture is Alan. We were not supposed to staring at the eye contact. Right, right. You're supposed to looking down. Yeah, right. You know, that if you do this, that's a very, you know, right. forbidden to girls, right. especially looking at this So I'm looking down and my master go like this way and right. he say, look at me. I said, oh my God, how can I look at right. it? And, you know, Someone's going to cut my head off if I do <laughs> I know. He said, what do you want? He asking me, what do you want out of your life? And that moment... So it, this person was beyond the culture. Oh, I mean, yeah, he, he was like... He's really, like 20, 30 years ahead of right, it. He right, was, you know, right. he's, he was he, just a master. He's like, he's a citizen of heaven. Right, he's right, not exactly, even, you know, exactly, you know right. the Korean or the right, American. Yeah, he's just the heaven. separation, yes, high, right. Global picture they have. So right. what do you want? I say, teacher. I want to become a teacher. Yes. Teacher? What the possible you think you can <laughs> right, teach? Right. You know, I say, you know, I don't know, life. I want to teach the life. And, and, and you were like 14 at this point? Yes. 14. No, no, no. I was eight. Eight? I was oh, this eight, was yes, eight. Sorry. Oh, eight. I see. Yeah. Yeah. When I become first black belt, I was the 14. Oh, yes. I see. So I said, teach what possible reason? I said, I don't know. I want to teach the life. So that's right. He made a decision at that moment. Oh, this girl is not ordinary girl, even right. if she don't have a hot pepper. Right, right. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> Right. She's a hot tamale. Yeah, so right. Yes, okay. So he said, I shall teach you. So what happened? 
So Not he only, was a, a, a master in Taekwondo also. The, he was actually master of the key energy, oh, the key internal energy. power, right, yes. Yeah, right. Taekwondo was the, you know, my uncle. The man of, yes, yeah, the physical they're all together, the, yes. Right. But uh, so he, uh, that's where he made a decision to teaching me. So he broke 5,000 year tradition, I broke wow. 5,000 years. We joined together and that was that, the wow. sense of rolling. So when I come to America first time, believe it or not, Alan, I didn't know how to speak English. I did a janitor work. Yeah, I, I, I read that. Yeah, and, and that's when you started your programs in like gas. a garage, yes, right? Yes, yes, yeah, garage. I started garage. Yeah. Everybody come, and they're all living. They say, you are a great teacher. If you say it can be done, how come you start teaching in a garage? <laughs> right. I mean, I didn't understand what they're talking about. It makes sense to me. So I said to myself, well, looks like I have to be a living example first. Right. So I work hard and I clean the toilet and I sing it long. You know why? Because I know I'm not going to be there forever. I just know. That's how I started. <laughs> wow. So, you know, maybe what we'll do is show the video clip and we'll discuss it after sure. about you with mm -hmm. the, you know, the working the, the chi, mm -hmm. you know, with the, the eggs and the. Uh, so we're going to do a video. This is the video by uh, Taeyun Kim. And it's. A, let it speak for itself and then we'll talk about it when we get back. So just watch this video, it's really extraordinary. This is a real bear near. Next time when you come, I will do this. I'll bring up the watermelon, please. Watermelon, thank you. Somebody ready? One, two, three, go! Oh, now I want you to pick it up. So why don't you describe how you're controlling your, okay. your, your energy? Okay. Well, first part about what you saw is the raw eggs. And everybody right. thinking they're a fake egg, and it's boiled. Like, I won't do that. It's, a, <laughs> no. it's, it's really raw egg. It's so they're not hard boiled. boiled. <laughs> no. All our audiences in Brooklyn, the cynical bunch, the guy ah, she's standing on hard boiled eggs. No, it's a wreck. And this is what should have won a part of a demonstration is the showing the internal power. Once you, you know, like when you're meditating, they bring your body, mind, and spirit all together. We have a most incredible energy flow in it within our body. River is flowing. And then what do you do? You really contain that energy, bring it to one spot. So you can stand on an egg and without crashing on it, oh, I can walk on a papers. And I do many things, but 
The point is that it's you not. You can walk on the rice paper. Like, yes. Like Kwai like Chang K. Well, he's he's walking a rice paper in the ground. Well, I can walk on one in an air. Really? That's the difference. Yeah. Wow. The, <laughs> well, you got to come back, and we're going to set this up in the air. This no, is... I think it's important is that that each of us we contain the beauty, that power. I think that's what I want you to know that you use that in your daily life. So ability to, you can bring your body, right hand symbolizes your body, your left hand symbolizes your mind, you bring together in a spirit and join together. And that's what in, in the, the harmony and, and the harmony. Absolutely, yeah, right. because uh, it's almost like this way. When you see, it's when everything's a clear day, when you look at the pond, it's everything's a settled down. And from the moonlight and, and the star and re reflecting, when you look into the pond, you can't even really tell if the moon is coming from like under because everything is all joined together. It's kind of that stage of we bring your body, mind, and spirit. And second, it is a huge big bed of nails, thousands of nails out there. As you can see, like 330 pounds of guys step on the world in my leg. That's the reason I do demonstration that one. So, so many of us, we are unknown. We're very a feel of that. I just want you to know that we all possess that key energy, internal power. Everybody say, well, what does that mean? How did you know? For example, somebody say, oh, God, I'm sick. I can't really walk. I can't even move. If somebody say, fire, there's a fire, I, get, I guarantee everybody goes 10,000 times the speed. You know, you can run faster. It's kind of that energy, hidden energy, you bring that up. So I line a bed in there, and a five is in the black, huge sledgehammer going down. But again, really controlling your body and your mind and through, so without punctuating yourself, the kingdom will rise above. And that's, you know, kind of noodle demonstration, which I don't like to do it, but No, it's, I do. it's just, to, it's just to make a point of yes, what our yes. capacity is. Yeah. It's not like, you know, being a show off, it's yeah. just to yeah, show yeah, that it, people have the capacity yeah. right. to do that. You can do that. You know, we, all of us, we have a capacity to act, capability to perform and produce, and it is your personal choice. If you look at it, I mean, I'm just, you know, four foot 11, you know, right. it's kind of 95 pounds, or, you know, whatever, and I'm not that big of myself, but you or any football player, just one finger, I can knock you down instantly. It's good to know. <laughs> I know if I ask the wrong question, I could be no, finished. You feel so safe. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no I, uh, it's the reason I'm saying that today so many people is struggling. Uh, There's so many balance going on, the uncertainty, not knowing who am I what's going on, teenagers and everywhere. So I really want to contribute it to bring moral harmony and taking charge. And it's life is, it's, it's, you are the really, the, the ownership. And this is your life. You are the one of a kind. That's why I say, be an original, don't be a copy. And that's what my first element, my books, is really written all about, really showing that. Uh, different body. We have a physical body, we have an emotional body, we have a mental body, we have a spiritual body. Then, you know, we have all different separate, the body, and we do not know. Sometimes, like, uh, people can sit some one place, their mind go vacation in China, that won't go any good, right? You have to ever bring and always sit yeah, together. Yeah, be in the moment, be alive, that's yes, where you live. Yes, yes. That's why I say, right. celebrate every living breath as this is your last breath, and recognize your present moment. This present moment, it will be your future, and was, will be, and your past. So really acknowledging the present moment. Well, you know, we yeah. talked about this a lot. I mean, like all the spiritual path is yes. like to be here now, mm -hmm. to be in the moment, to, you know, to erase, you know, just to, and that's what all the practices you know, throughout I, history have yes, been about. Yes, in, in, uh, most of the time, you know, Grandmaster tell me, you know, could you tell me about the past life? But it's, you know, I say, I'd be glad to answer that to you, but why don't you worry personal life right, first? You're, you're right here, right? <laughs> right. You're, you're, right how is that going to right, help? Right, rather than you worry about it, what was it like on my past and in the future, if, because I believe if we can manage, I believe that we can, we can just harmony present life we will done all our homework. Exactly. And automatically will be connected to this is like a bridge to heaven and earth. You know, right. you'll be connected to your future and tomorrow and definitely. Well you'll just be, be in, in this out. moment, in this moment yes. and you know, and then yes. you'll be like a force of nature rather yes. than a concept yes. of what a person uh -huh. would be. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's my first element books we learned. Right, about. and and so in your book and your video, we'll show a part mm -hmm. of that later. There are like the twelve elements, right? Yes, yes, twelve and then you gates. Twelve gates, yes. right? Uh huh. And so why don't you describe a few of those? I mean, I guess you already have, but 
you know, like take people through that a little bit. Well, you know, the uh, first gate, it is actually is connecting. It's really, like I say, right hands, your body, left hands, your mind. If everybody know that, whenever they clap the hands, they do, or they know I am joining together. Conscious decision, they'll be great. So first gate, when you do, it's really con removing all your negativity, all your challenge you have, remove it, then it exchanges. And it's, a, it's, it's also, a, it's a physical movement. Oh, absolutely, right. physical move. That's like, for example, like a gate five, if we do, you bring up the, all the physical move, then make a commitment, conscious decision you make and go to the heaven, then you bring up the really connecting with the God, and then really bring the present time in your heart, and really acknowledging, you know, the, the energy is there, and you're really letting go. So this is, each gate is really symbolic of involvement to you join your body and mind and spirit, and really how you manage that one. And rather than you become the, is taking charge over you and you taking charge. Don't let your experience. So most of the case people say, well, you know, when I was growing up, I was abused by, you know, family and da 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 da. You so can that's right. Most of them yeah. So to. I'm, you know, basically <laughs> right. I'm saying that, you know what? I am so sorry that happened to you. I'm sorry it happened to me too. But I tell you one thing. When you want a child, you are not have a control of it. Because so many ways do. now. But now you do. So right. stop wasting Something. your time going back there right. really acknowledging right here so if you know how wow. to take a bus go yeah if go, you know girl. how to take a bus <laughs> if you know how you use making phone call if you know how to turn a computer even whatever you do and now is the time for your life you have to take charge and i really saying that because we are so much wasting our time blaming everybody else. And I guess my experience is that I really don't have a time to blame me. You know, all I say, okay. There's too much you know, neat stuff to it do. It is, absolutely. You know, <laughs> anybody who challenges me, you know what Alan and I say? Thank you for motivating me. That's what I say in my heart. Thank you for energizing me. I say, you charge my battery. You give me something to do so I can work on it and I can move forward. You know? <laughs> That's why I always say, I really want to tell the, all of this uh, audience to really tell them, you know, you have to stop blaming yourself now. And, and everyone stuff. else, right? Yeah, everyone right. else. Right. Now it is, a, you are the ownership, you have to take charge. I think that's, uh, everybody says, well, how can I, you do that? I mean, I'm still suffering. And exactly, you know, who doesn't suffering? Come on, Alan, if right. anybody who don't want to have a suffering in life, right. you're in the wrong planet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you might be, but you're, you're, you're not in a human body if you don't know suffering. Yeah, absolutely. Right, you know right. what, what I learned through my suffering experience? That my life itself is the great teacher for me. And I'm a great How, student. It can't be any, yes. it can't be other I really one. like to say I'm a great student and I'm a still and a student. Humble. Yes. And that really, the suffering and the pain, this is what I say. Rejoice in the lesson of the pain and hurt. It gives you strength and it gives you them. So, but but yeah. how do you teach people to like? You have to rise above it yes. a little bit, yes. you know, to see it uh -huh. as as pain and suffering rather yeah. than I'm hurting. Yeah, you know what? So uh, very how? simple. Go. It's very simple. It is a choice. You know, we are suffering. It's choice. I know I don't like to suffer. Believe me, I cry too. I yeah. cry daily sometimes. But we have to make that choice. And that's what it's, I want to say. It feels better to be happy. Right. You have to make that choice. You can become a victim or you can become a survivor and rise above. The two choices. There's no gray. You have to make a choice. So then you desire. You have to be wanted. You can say, yes, I think I want. Oh yeah, you know, I probably, everybody else think I should. No, it's gotta come don't from want your inner, it in yeah, your heart. Yes, your it heart. has to come from your ownership and lover. That's what the See, but your tools help open that because at some point, you know, you have to be at a point where, in other words, like if, to make a choice, you have to be so you could see both ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're so far under it. Yes. I so, and your, your techniques and tools bring people to that point where they can make the you know, change. You know, Alan, I have to tell you, I work with the CEO company, huge computer company. I work with the actor, actress, producer, you know, just all kind of people. I mean, of course, it is very private between myself and them. And the 45 million people <laughs> out yes, there. Yes, yes. So I, we won't tell anybody. Yes, but I tell you one thing, though. It's so important that you must know Exactly, precisely. You know why? You see, there's like a times of 14 with the 75 or whatever that time. People say Columbus discovered or is run. 
You know what I say, Grandmaster take him say, Columbus did not discover all is run. He uncovered all is run. You know why? Because the earth was always around. Yeah, they, yeah, right. What's the change? Right. People perspective right, change. Exactly. Right. So what I want to tell those people, you must learn to change your perspective view. You know, there's a time, you know, 1875, 1879, after the 76th time, Thomas Edison invented incredible power of a power, electricity. You know what? He didn't make that happen. One day, he failed. He made a mistake. But what he did, he didn't give up. Right, he persevered. Yes, I right. think that's so yeah. important. Number one, you have to make a choice you want to willingly. You have to bring your willpower. Number two, you have to say that, no, exactly what you want. No matter what anybody say, don't let them influence you. My mother tell me I'm a bad luck. My father tell me this word. You know what? And I said to myself, I'm a good person. Right. Uh, they can't convince me I'm a bad luck. Right. And I said to myself, well, you have to marry. You know what? I don't have to marry. Well, why did I have to do that? Everybody else did it. I said, no, I don't want to be everybody. I want to be me. I think it's so important that knowing that your strength and your beauty, and you got to have a determination. You know, like what? You have to have a highest level determination. You know what the people say? So tell me, how did I create a determination? You know what my answer is? You'll never believe this one. I say, you go to shopping? He said, yeah. You go to shopping mall? He said, yeah. Did you ever, ever face some time out of nowhere, all of a sudden you have to go to the bathroom so badly? He said, yeah. I said, you have to bring your body, mind, and spirit all together. Believe me. So when you find that you want to go to the bathroom, 70% you know, discount is 60%. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> because no. Get me you to the, must right. go where you want to go. That's what I'm saying. That much you have to be really focused like a laser beam. You have to know exactly your direction. Don't let those 60% and get you. But as people go, they say, excuse me, where is the bathroom? Right. So well, go to the right, go to the left, and go to the left direction. Yeah, and, obstacles and won't stand in yeah, your way. Yeah, won't stand. And you right. just go. Yeah, I and use the find, example of people need to get to a dialysis machine. Yes. You know, I mean, if their kidneys aren't working, <laughs> yes, they'll really, find them. Yes. They won't be so stopped by all the things that yes, stop right. them in getting to the dojo or, you know, <laughs> yes. all the reasons yes, we give exactly. that we can't do See, something. what happened, we give so many to the uh, options. When we happen in our daily life, we may give so many options, option one, two, and three, and four. That's why we're so confused. We must really direct all our energy like a laser beam. Right. We're going to show, I think, in a little while, that one of the, uh, the uh, key gates. Key rhythm? Yeah, mm -hmm. the key rhythms. Yes. From, okay. This is from uh, 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 Taeyun's uh, uh, video. Yes. Uh, so why don't you describe it? It's, okay. it's the sitting sure. one. Mm -hmm. and sure. Yeah, describe that okay. one. What? We're going to see the. We're going to see the one uh, in front of the waterfall. Okay. Yeah, the one that we've shown before. Well, here's uh, actually this one. It is called what do you call uh, the uh, Tongshin Tongil? That is mean bring your body, mind, and spirit as one together. And all the elements you see, like our flesh is part of a belong to earth element. Then it's the human body. We have the most incredible percentage, over 80 percent. We have a power of water, right. and they have it. So water it is the through the wee wee life, you know, tears and all that. This river is flowing. Then it's the next element. We have a fire. If you rub your hand, mm -hmm. go ahead, rub your hand as fast as you can. You can burn yourself actually third degree doing that one. Yeah, I'm pretty and hot. It, in yes. <laughs> so yeah. the same thing. We have the fire. Uh, the the element of a fire. We have next one of course uh, the element of air. The air is associated with our breath, and our breath will change all the time, depending on what the level of emotional level we are in. We stress, anxiety, and you know, depressed, angry, upset. Our breath changing. So this is what an element. Okay, now this is like okay. a, a meditation or yes. a uh, uh -huh. or a visualization. It's really gathering right. all your elements okay. together. Yeah. All right. So yeah, let's just see that. It's it's a beautiful video.
You open your third eye, connected with the universe eye. Your commitment to rise above to heaven. Take charge. Take action. You come to connect with Mother Earth, ready to receive. Ready to give. We also face a lot of obstacles and challenge, but you have a power to rise above, like a sun rise above the clouds. So you can radiate. Here you face. Suffering from pain, you have power to celebrate the joy. Here you must bring balance. Join your heart with the commitment, ready to open the gate of heaven. Shout! Celebrate! Yes, you will bring your body, mind, spirit. Total connection to your heart. Once again, acknowledging the Mother Earth. So you can be best you can. Now, here you are, as warrior spirit, shooting out, sending out everywhere. Yes, with the total confidence, you are acknowledging who you are. So now, you once again you acknowledge where you are this moment. This life, you have a freedom to go heaven and earth. Open your rainbow wings. You're ready to touch the thread of joy. Embrace the light inwardly, 
مات وري a fantastic video. <laughs> Thank you. So you were, you were telling the story while we were watching it mm -hmm. about that, you know, almost the camera people couldn't shoot it because, I mean, I guess a lot of people in the audience had that same sense. Yes. I mean, when I was watching it the first time, that's why I picked it. It was like, <laughs> it was like all you could see is light. Yes. You know, yes, I mean, your physical body kind of like disappear. faded yes, away. Yes, absolutely. And so yeah. you were saying that that, yes, when that's you actually, actually shot it. Yes, actually when we were filming this one, it's just a lot of camera people, they couldn't really continue filming because my body is a disappear. Was, I was generating so much that it, you know, power and beauty and whatever, and I guess uh, the, the Westerner, they call aura, you know, whatever it is, just coming out of it. I said, wow, this, where is she? <laughs> we can't film her. So we have to kind of do it. a lot of energy we did it, yeah. Right. So very powerful. This key rhythm, all the, um, what I put together from very thousand, thousand years old, pat the pat pattern it has been passed on. Then what I did, I put in a combine for use for, for modern people, you know, mm -hmm. so you can just, uh, everyday practice, you know, just like a once and twice. It would be amazing how much you're getting benefit. Everybody just love it. And you so have really right now one of the biggest centers. It's in, in the San in Jose a, yes, area. Yes, the Silicon Valley, yes. Right, and mm -hmm. and so you deal with people who are like pretty stressed out with all the I, IPOs yeah. and all the... I got, yeah, I got people come flying from the you know, Europe and in you know, Southeast Asia all over, and they come to have a personal consultation. Sometimes we have, a, you know, like a five days, one week, 10 days, one month. They set a schedule and we're just going over. Because what I learned, it doesn't matter how successful they are, how much money they have, whatever. There's something about always that it hit an agenda and they don't want it to, to share with the people. So they come, grandma, could you help me out this one? Then I said, sure, you know, let's work together. Yeah, because ultimately mm -hmm. those things don't make you happy. No, no, no. So, See, I mean, you got to have that inner connection. Everybody thinking that, you know, their ultimate successful life is that, you know, when you have a money, fame, and that's that is isn't true. I claim myself I'm almost a successful person in a planet and a woman especially. I said, they challenge me. You know, let me tell you why I am saying that one because I'm embracing my fear, my pain, and joy and happiness. I embrace all of them part of my body. I don't separate them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I right. acknowledge my pain and hurt because that give me the strength to give to me where I am. So because that, I will not envy it. I will not say, oh, I wish I am them or her, because uh, I am very happy where I am. Okay. Even I'm only 4 foot 11. <laughs> and uh, one thing I say, you know, I wish I'm tall, but I'm true sense that I'm content in who I am. I will not let, give my license to you, so you to, you know, taking away from my joy and also the making me miserable. Many people say, if I only have a man or relationship, then I'm okay and happy. Mm -hmm. If I only have a, this car and a home, I'm okay. that's the wrong attitude. You can, you know, then once you have that, that was that, you know, you're not happy with that. So I truly believe a real happiness has come from within you and heart, a connection of a God. Well, I think throughout history, that's when all the masters have come and yes. said, you know, seek the kingdom of heaven within. And, yes, and we all have right. it, yes, and we're all we do, from yeah. that one thing. Mm -hmm. I think we have to recognize that uh, the each of us are so unique, and a goddess is really sent to this planet for some purpose and reason. And you might not know right away that that mean you are not connected with the God. And it is okay you do not know right away. But I say important is that you have to give opportunity giving yourself that door be open, not to close it in. And then once the door open, then a lot of things can happen. Once the door is closed, you know, nothing can happen to you. So I think that having that attitude, have a right attitude, right mind and a right view and what you're looking at, I think that's the most important. And also another thing what I learned, that most cases they want to be so perfect and they don't want to make a mistake. And that's really odd to me, Alan, right. because you really want to be perfect 
You have to make a mistake. You I look at that right, way, right. yes. And, and we're in physical bodies. Perfection yes, doesn't exist that yes. way. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, yes. that's not where perfection right. exists. Yes. So, and I mean, to look for it is already you're, you're going to be looking at <laughs> yes, trouble. Yes, yes. You know? you know, I say learn from mistake. Let the mistake it become your feedback system to your journey. And, and that's what my actually other book, Seven Steps Inner Power, and I saying that it's like a put your body, mind, and spirit always as one. And acknowledge your strength and your weakness, the truth. And be purified of your body, mind, and spirit. And if basically, what I'm saying, you know, when you're taking bath, you're taking shower. Some people they want to contain that water and taking bath next time. No, you can't do that. In other words, so you have to learn to let it go. And what do you have experience? You have you have to be ready for next. It's one. part of you, and then it's, you're, yes. you're moving on. And then everybody say, you no, know, you have to learn to love who you are and what you are. And you don't want to say, you know, like, I hate myself. Then it's like, Alan, how come you don't love me? You can say that right. when you're saying to yourself, right. I hate myself. So it's, I fear it's very important to learn to love and who I am and what I am. And be loyal to the, your goal and a purpose. So that means so many pe people making New Year's resolution. Say, this year I'm going to do it, right? Then in the seven days later, what was that my goal was all about? Seven days? <laughs> oh, yeah. You maybe know a really year? dedicated <laughs> bunch around here. Is, yeah, because some people maybe next the, day. The football game isn't even over yet. They <laughs> yes. You know, these people say, you know, then how can you expect that harvest in your life? Or you didn't even know what you planted. Right. You but it's, you know. it's, it's just, I mean, we have to build up a momentum where we have the yes. capacity to do mm -hmm. that. Yes. I mean, you know, first you, you, you want it and then to build up the muscle. Absolutely, you know, you know, yes. And that's what all the, the different techniques, and that's what your, you know, gates, are, you know, I mean, all yes, the, everything. that's what you're yeah, about. You know what is amazing is what I learned. Alan, when I came to America first time, and when I talk about meditation, you know, what the people used to say, don't meditate, you're going to lose your mind. Right. You know, right. people with the absolute meditation was like a no good, right. no, no. But today, it's so many people is awakening, and mm -hmm. they become really enlightened in their life. They say, wow, meditation, I want to meditate. You know, I want to find something within my heart. They talk a more spiritual being. It's like eating an ice cream. You know, it used to be this like a, you know, right. forbidden expression. Right. You can't do that. Right. But it's just, that's just so beauty about it. Now I say, I feel like finally I got that some in the water as fish, just find the water so I can swimming on it. And I feel really great. So I really want the people to know that I made it. And I come from very poor country, you know. South Korea, right after the war, it's nothing there. In a, in culture, it's a, so strict, you know, right. just only one way. But I broke through that. That means I really know that God is to send me here to become a living example. Right. And, and here, really, if you can do it, there's no reason oh, anybody else can. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, right. You and know what? I even registered, I say that he can do, she can do, why not me? And right. that's why I say it's a personal choice. I think that, you know, um, when I go through the, believe me, nothing is life always sweet, sweet, sweet. That's not, you're going to have some painful experience. And like my position, many people prejudice and jealousy. Even now, I face Absolutely. that one. Even Absolutely. now, more than anybody, you know, because being an Asian, because being a martial artist, because being in a, in a woman, so many ways. But what I do, the difference is my attitude. Whenever people will say I smile at myself, in my heart, I say, thank you for energizing me. Right. Thank you for motivating me. <laughs> That's what I do. Yes, yes. And, and you find that that the movement of that inner awareness and inner empowerment is really picking up because I see that. I mean, as our show goes on. Oh all my out. goodness! Yes, absolutely. Uh, even my my show is going out. People say, God, I really love watching you. You're really inspiring me. You know, I was just thinking about taking my life away, and it's just an excellent turn when you watching you. You changing my life. You know. Please just make it some more like that. And it's going it's all over the world. All over the world. It's yeah, we were talking earlier about mm -hmm. all. Are, you, are your shows on the internet now? It's going to going be to very soon. Yeah, we were talking. We have right 16 now. on it. It's, you know, the yes. bandwidth isn't fast yes, enough. Yes. But that way, I mean, if somebody wanted, in a year from now or so, well, now, you if know, somebody wants to watch this show 24 hours 20 a day, hours, seven, yes, you know, instead yes. of us sending a right. tape or, you yes, know, you I send I know. They can just kind of click, right, click, click. And then know. there you'll be. And, and it'll be where it'll be on a television Absolutely, set. Absolutely, yes. So. Ex I was saying that I want to be the first person to the internet and be kind of hitting, you know, better than Offer of Infrared. I'm saying that. Why not? You know, I mean, why not? You know, who's going to but we have 16 yeah. shows on, so you might have to be the <laughs> okay, first woman right, host. Okay, the first woman host, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what 
whatever, you know, right. that's No, we're again. always playing. Yeah. Always we're just, let's, you did a great job, right. that's good. <laughs> and that, you know, and that's really what it's about, is like all, you know, we were talking earlier with your, your, uh, your associate, mm -hmm. Erica, about, yeah. you know, how did you start out? Yeah. And you started out the same way we did it, about yeah. all the stuff on TV is crap. Oh, yes. And unempowering oh. and uninspiring and... It and just, it's just like, you know, yeah. you know, environment is influence people. Environment characterizes people. And you know that, right? No matter how much you really want it, when the environment, some friends say, come on, you can smoke, come on, do right. this, do that. Or when you whatever you watch, people just kind of sweat in. And I watch all this television, this is like, I can't believe it. Right. It's, it's unbelievable. It's I said, unbelievable. Okay, well, I'm not going to complain exactly about it. I'm going to do something about it, this one. Right. So that's where we started. And, uh, you know, we start like, you know, 20,000, you know, the viewers, right, and then did. in 100,000. Right. That is right now. It's over thirty millions, yeah. forty millions, whatever it is. It's you know, amazing. it's just a lot amazing. You know, I tell you, the amazing part is, is that the show's getting over. <laughs> so if anybody wants any information on Taeyoon, uh, her workshops, her classes, anything that's going on, eight zero five six eight seven two zero five three. Good night. God bless you. And God bless you. Thank you.